All right, I'm going to talk about fact families for addition and subtraction, and I'm going to talk about two different aspects of uh, building facts. The first thing is, we're all aware that it's important to know our facts. Our basic facts up to 10, our basic facts up to 20. Once we know one fact, we teach the children that we automatically get three facts for free. If we know five plus three, we know three plus five. If we know that fact, we know that eight take away three equals five, and we know that eight take away five equals three. So once you know this one, that's the basis for automatically knowing these facts. The other aspect of facts and fact families that we would like students to really use well is if you know five plus three, you also know 50 plus 30. You know that that's going to be 80 because any time you see the combination in 5 and 3 in the same place, it will always come up with an 8 or an 80. This helps students, when they're adding, to do it in one move. Rather than having to say 50, 60, 70, 80, they can say 50 plus 30 is 80 because they know 5 plus 3 is 8. And they can use that for 500 plus 300, 53 plus 30, 510 plus 30. Whenever you see five and three, somewhere you're going to have eight.